What is up, everybody? Scratch coming up with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guess what? We're on a roll today because Splarium just released some more news. So we have the new patch notes, which we're going to cover because we haven't really talked about everything. We have a couple of new things in here that they've been uh, released to the, to the masses. Basically, we already covered the referral program. I have a couple of videos on it where I'm showcasing pretty much everything that you need to know about the referral program. In the pinned comments, you're going to find the easiest way to create referrals and collect those rewards just by putting in a bit of work. Now, another thing that was not really mentioned is furthermore, we are adding new premium referral rewards, which you'll get for your friend's activity in raid. Okay, activity. You will get points whenever your referred friends level up past level 50 and they'll be able to share bonuses with their referee if they so wish when they make a purchase in the game on top of that. So basically, when your friends are spending money, they actually have an option to share some sort of rewards with you, which can be pretty damn awesome. Now, I'm not sure what exactly is going to be, how much money they actually got to spend in order to be able to share some of that with you guys. But actually, sounds interesting, sounds a bit like... Yeah, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of that. Then, now we have new skins for Madame series coming to the game, guys. Pretty interesting. I like Madame series is a champion that I'm using very often, so I'm very curious to see how the skins will uh, be looking like. I might even be tempted to purchase one of them. The main thing is that we got a new Forge Pass coming out. Forge Pass Season 3 and... With it, we have a new OP Arena set, okay? Very, very powerful set, so I want to cover that. A new Forge Pass will go live and bring a brand new artifact set to the game. Your protection focused champions are going to love this one because it combines the benefits of the beloved old shield set and regeneration, meaning that it will not cease being useful even after the initial shield buff is no longer active. So that is absolutely amazing, right? You're getting a heal, you're getting a shield, and on top of it, protected 30% HP ally shield for 3 turns. Heals wearer by 10% every turn. Now, protected ally shield, it kind of means like it cannot be removed. So that means that this shield, you won't be able to remove the shield, okay? From your entire team. That's why it's so damn powerful. I don't think I'm wrong on it. I already checked this with quite a few buddies of mine because we knew about the set for like a week now since it's uh, been in the data mine. But... I feel like it cannot be removed. That's that's the wording behind it. So that's an awesome set, a four-piece set. You can remove the shield and the wearer is getting every turn a 10% heal from his own HP. Very, very powerful. The champion rebalance, we already know. Nothing special in here. We covered this before. I'm going to link this in the pinned comments if you guys want to have a look. The new champions, we already covered too. Theodore, my guy, the new is coming. Don't you worry. Is actually uploading. Raka, awesome, awesome Void Champion. Kind of wish something was a bit different about her, but hey, she's okay. And they're actually mentioning that this champion, uh, Sneak Track, was designed by a community person. I mean designed, inspired from somebody. Armed with the inspiration, they have created Sneak Track. And though he's considerably more vicious and darker to feed the overall team of Raid Shadow Legends, we hope you guys enjoy this great champion. Tobias Grau, the artist who came up with the original concept. So he will be the very first person to receive this champion as a token of their appreciation for giving them a creative boost. You guys are good at this sort of stuff, man. They're keeping up. Uh, they're doing so many so, uh, art contests and stuff. Definitely had had in competing there. Maybe you're gonna earn something. Maybe you're gonna get your own champion in the game, and that's pretty badass, you know. But that was all for this video, guys. I just wanted to cover mainly the new set the Forge Pass, and whatever else is been said about the referrals and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about all this. Appreciate all of you guys watching, and I'll catch you all soon in the next one. Peace.